getting time for Animal House, and today it's all about snakes. Veterinarian Kevin Fitzgerald is here to tell us about designer snakes. Now, Kevin, these are just gorgeous animals. Well, these, these are gorgeous animals. These are owned by two of my clients, by, by Leslie and Ariel, who, uh, who breed and, and they've made some designer kinds. This is Blizzard, who, who is, all these today are, are Burmese pythons. But I just wanted to show you the different morphs that they take yeah. and the different things that they've done. Now, is this on purpose or does nature morph them? Well, some of them are nature, but, but Look some, at that baby. some are... are uh, wow. This is Murdoch, who is a, a, <laughs> bigger, Murdoch. a, a bigger python. Who, uh, Look at Murdoch. Who, who is a good-natured soul. And, and lucky for us, he's a good citizen. <laughs> <laughs> now, do they do this for camouflage purposes or just... Um, albinos can, can happen in, in nature. You know, um, uh, uh, a small percentage yeah. of, of births are albinos for, for most species. So this, this is a, a al al albino Burma, Burmese python. Wow. And then uh, we got another type of, of, of berm here, another albino. This, this one, yeah. Gorgeous. This is lemon drop. And lemon so, drop. Yeah. So again, so these are not purposely designed by people genetically Produced. No, lemon drop is a, just a regular albino. But, okay. but here we got, these are called granites. And wow, so gorgeous. The, this is, yeah, in, in lucky for us, pretty good natured snakes. You All know. right, well, good. Hey, granite. So these guys are constrictors, they're not poisonous. And, and, you know, snakes get a bad rap, but they do a great job for rodent control. Here in Colorado, where they're killed, where they kill the, the snakes, we end up with plague in the prairie dogs and with yeah. hantavirus. So they're doing a, a great job for us. So are these for sale? No, no. No, these, not these for are, sale. These are, own, these are family members. So they come from your families? <laughs> yeah. All right. And, and this then, final one this, here the last is... last one. Yeah, this, this is what's called a hypo. And, and a these, hypo. these are, 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 are gorgeous. Now, this one is a designer kind that's made by, by crossbreeding. Now, as a veterinarian, what kind of problems do you see with snakes like this? Well, we can see respiratory problems. We can see skin problems. They get cancer. They get arthritis. You know, they have geriatric problems uh, in nature. Oftentimes, yeah. with uh, you know not getting enough exercise, we can see we can see obesity. So, j just like us, we have a, a lot of the same problems. And I yeah. think it, it, they're a real commitment because these guys can live uh, you know 40 to 50 years. And really? so, I think that anybody that takes one on right. has, to, has to really do a if you take on an animal, you're duty-bound to take care of it. Exactly. All right, Dr. Kevin, thank you very much for bringing in the snakes this morning. I think you and I are the only ones who would like to handle snakes around here. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for all you do for animals. <laughs> thank you. Everybody has run from this place right yeah, now. Thank all you, right. We'll bring Natalie back, and we'll be back in just a minute.